Shirobako is an anime about making anime. Yeah, it gets really fucking meta sometimes. Like when you realize that voice actors are voicing characters who are deciding who they should pick as voice actors for their anime in this anime. And I fucking love it. So the show starts with these five girls in their high school's animation club. They have a super close friendship and they all share the same passion for animation, even making their own amateur anime production together. And of course, they all have a shared dream of one day working together on the same anime for real. It's a really wholesome and optimistic introduction to the show's characters. And I got bored in like two seconds. But then. Animation They immediately cut to a time skip, and one of the main characters from earlier is now a working adult sitting at a traffic light looking fucking exhausted. And that was the moment for me where I was like, fuck yes, give me some of that realistic suffering. Mmm, fuck that baby ass high school shit. Give me the harsh realities of the real world. And that's exactly what they did. So the main character, Miyamori, is now a production assistant for an animation studio, and her job is basically to go around and coordinate all the many, many different teams that work on anime, from directors to keyframe animators to voice acting and sound design. And I think that having her as the main character works really well, because by following her as a production assistant, you get to see all the different parts of the machine and really learn how the whole process of making anime works. Honestly, this show is basically a documentary. I learned so much shit. Not only do they go through each little part of production and animation, but they also show you all the small details that make things work. They're the types of things that you probably wouldn't even pay attention to on your own as a viewer, but they still make the viewing experience that much better. One thing that I really love especially is when the team is trying to fix any kind of problem or make improvements to the show that they're working on, and they actually show you the specific progression of the product, so you can see for yourself what small changes can really make those big differences in quality. I also want to talk about the appeal of Slice of Life, because honestly it doesn't really get more Slice of Life-y than this show, which is essentially just like an office comedy drama show. Anime tends to function as an escape from life for a lot of people, myself included of course, and it's weird but sometimes the best way to escape stress in my life is by experiencing similar stress from the lives of characters in fiction. I don't always want to escape to a crazy magic fantasy world. Like, you know, sometimes I just don't have it in me to care about the guy whose ninja clan was killed by his brother with the fire eyeball powers. Sometimes I just want to watch someone bitch about their fucking shitty coworker, because then I can actually be like, yo, same. The way each of the characters deals with problems in their lives reflects on the viewer, and having that connection makes them more realistic, which makes the viewer, me in this case, feel more attached. I get attached to the shit that they deal with at work, I breathe sighs of relief when things go well, I enjoy the time that they spend with their family and friends, I get attached to their co-workers, even the annoying shitty ones, and I pop the fuck off when a terrible situation is saved. Seriously, the problems that these people deal with are realistic and brutal. In fact, many of the scenarios and characters are actually based on real production issues and people that animation studios experienced and had to deal with. The main thing is just how brutal the tiny amount of time these people are given in their schedules is. It's no secret that the anime industry has some of the most overworked and underpaid employees out there, and this show does not hold back when it comes to portraying that kind of realism. But you also always tend to see and hear that what keeps people in the industry going is their pure love and passion for the work that they do, and it really, really shows with these characters. Most importantly, from a viewer perspective, I got really quickly attached to basically everyone. And there's a lot of fucking characters in this show, holy shit. There are moments in the show where all hope seems lost, mainly due to nightmarish production schedules and deadlines, but someone usually manages to barely clutch it out, and there's moments like this where I literally physically jump up in my seat from sheer hype in a way that not even Attack on Titan could do to me. Another thing I appreciate is just how much variety there is and how well the show mixes all of it together. There's a shit ton of characters that all do their own things in their lives and we get to see so much of it. One of the main characters is a struggling voice actress trying over and over again to land a role but constantly falling short. You see animators struggle to keep up with their work schedules while also trying to improve their art at the same time. There's even characters, including the main character Miyamori, 
who have already seemingly landed their dream jobs only to find themselves lost as to what to do next. But because their struggles are so real and hard hitting, it's also just as rewarding to see the times where they succeed because we've been following them through their journey to get there. And that shit is so satisfying. And it's basically the main reason I love the slice of life genre as much as I do. I think that more than anything else, this show helped me think about and appreciate just how much work goes into every single anime out there. And I mean every single one. Even dog shit shows like SAO. Even The Promised Neverland Season 2. Even fucking x Arm. Oh yeah, also there's like street racing for some reason. <laughs>